Hola amigos de Wine News TV Puerto Rico, qué privilegio estar una vez más en el Orrio de Suárez con The Hilt. Vamos a hablar de dos vinos de los cuales me han hablado mucho, mi querida amiga Andrea García y el equipo de B. Suárez. Estoy con Thibaut de The Hilt y él es el Export Manager de la bodega. Hi. How are Hi. You? Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. How does it feel to be in beautiful Puerto Rico? It's good. It's nice, good. right? Yeah, it's warmer than where I'm from. I came prepared. You yeah. know, I'm very <laughs> tropical, very Caribbean. Good. Welcome. So good to have you in the program. Tell me a little bit, a little bit about the Hilt. So, so with the Hilt, we are back in California, in Santa Rita Hills area, which is to me one of the most beautiful area in this whole whole country. Uh, this is uh, long spotting reels right on the coast. Uh, if you are located in Los Angeles, you just take the highway one, you drive three hours and you're there. And what I love with the hills is, and the, the hills and the wines, that uh, you have this uh, Pacific Ocean influence. You have those sweeping winds that really refreshes the entire area. Uh, you still enjoy California sunshine, but so you have mild temperatures and very poor soils. Uh, this is mostly the ocean bottom, uh, fossilized planktons, mm -hmm. and it's really the proper climate and the proper terroir to have uh, Chardonnays and Pinot Noir there. You were telling me off camera that your Burgundy is your home, right? Yes. And uh, we're tasting Pinot and Chardonnay, the benchmark grapes of, of Burgundy. Mm -hmm. So would you say that the style of these wines is to pay tribute or an homage a little bit to, to Burgundy? No, not at all. Okay. I think the wine don't, the wines don't try to behave uh, like somebody else, they just try to, to be true to, to, to their own terroir. Okay. And I think this is what we like with it, is uh, in terms of winemaking, we don't intervene too much. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to be translating the purity of what the terroir gives us. Okay. Um, but of course, there's a lot of exchanges uh, between us in Burgundy and, and the team in Santa Barbara, because, well, we're part of the same family. Basically, the hills, uh, along with Honada, uh, which is also in Santa Barbara County, just mm -hmm. a few miles east from the hills, mm -hmm. and Screaming Eagle in Napa Valley. Uh, all belongs to the same owner with Bono du Martre, uh, the Corton Charlemagne and Corton wines from, uh, from Burgundy. It all belongs to uh, Stan Cranky. So we're part of this whole family, and this is amazing because there's a lot of exchanges between them and us. Uh, so technical sharing of sorts, right? Lot, you share yeah. that? That's incredible. Let's get into the wines. Let's go to the Hilt Chardonnay. Cheers. <laughs> I love the fact that it's only 13.2 alcohol. Oh, I love the nose here. Um, citrus. Just love, yeah, the, ci the citrus oil, the lemon oil. There is a beautiful note of, of pears and green apple, but then you have that minerality which sort of communicates reduction, flintiness, tone. Yeah. The struck match. Uh, yeah, the struck match. Have. I love that. I love that. And I get that a lot in the Corn Charlemagne wines mm -hmm. out of Burgundy. That, that that reduction is beautiful. Let's let's give it out a taste. Mm. The salinity, the proximity to the ocean really makes this wine sing. I mean the acidity, it's so refreshing, it's cleansing, and then there's this explosion of flavor that is not sweet or, or jammy at all. Mm -hmm. You get that in a lot of Chardonnays mm -hmm. from California. Yep. Here it's like licking a stone and adding some lemon. It's yeah. incredible. Wow, what a delicious wine. Uh, this retails for $69 here, here at El Orrio. It's fantastic. Wow. Well, thanks. It's, it's like squeezing a lemon and then, you know, a salad of stones and lemon and uh, obviously that uh, green apple, that bone fruit. Delicious, delicious wine. Mm. I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna buy a bottle of this. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I'm loving it. And there's a little bit of, of, of ginger and green tea. There, there's, there's, there's so many things happening on the nose here. Incredible. What do you pair this with back at home when you're opening a... Well, right now, I would want to have some oysters with that. Oysters. Oysters would be just fantastic with it. Um, I like the fact that it, we really enjoy your refrigerated sunshine mm -hmm. that gives this intensity to the wine. To me, it's like liquid electricity. It's like I love that. a big punch. Um, but yet you still have some uh, layers in the wine. It's, it's, not, it's not just linear. You have some great dimension, great texture, because we work a lot with the lees to, in the cellar uh, to have that. And, and yeah, with, in terms of pairing, oysters will be my, my first option. This is the best Chardonnay I've had this year. Wow. Thanks. 
And uh, in a blind tasting, I know you. we started off saying that you're not trying to emulate or, or copy, for that matter, Burgundy. But I swear to God that if I was to taste this blind, I would say Burgundy. I don't know why. I would, I would say this is Burgundy, and I would say Burgundy north of $100 a bottle. Mm -hmm. But this is California at $69 mm -hmm. a bottle. Delicious. Let's get into the Pinot. I'm very, very stoked. Okay, what can you tell me about this uh, bottling here? Oof. Uh, this is this is California. I love the I fruit. Know. Yeah, there, there's. I, I I can definitely tell this is not Burgundy here. Yeah. But the, yeah. The, the, the you have more the California, the, the the Burgundy sense here. Uh, here I think this. Oh is, You can God. feel the California sunshine. So this. You is, do the uh, generosity. That yeah. sun, that is so you know, uh, I guess. And, and that's what I like because once you tasted it, then you have this salinity in the finish that helps everything get together. You have this big fresh fruits in the in the mouth, but then it but, all but, but, you, but you do have a little bit of that uh, musky, cedary that mm -hmm. that that note that is herbal that has a little bit of of of, of, of spice little bit of, 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 of irony, minerality, like sanguine notes, bloody yep. no, blood orange notes. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Very, very nice. I love how chiseled it is. I mean, it's uh, very sleek, even though in the, on the nose you feel this generosity. Mm -hmm. It's very elegant and it, it, it has a great structure. I mean, it has beautiful tannins and it has great acidity to pair with food. I mean, this has sufficient acidity to even pair with some, some recipes that, for example, have tomatoes are hard to pair with food mm -hmm. and you need acidity to counter yeah. or, 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 or have some harmony with that. This is delicious, delicious, yeah. delicious right here. What do you eat this with? Uh, you can definitely go for Mexican food. I mean, every time I'm in California, it's all about Mexican food for us. Um, I love having a, a big slab of, slab of meat uh, with it um, because I love the power of it, but this is refined power, control power. You have silky tannins, you know, where the, the tannins are not angular at all, they are softens, and that really makes it like expensive, expansive, but but not aggressive at all. You have, everything is well integrated and you can enjoy it. How, how long it. do they age? I mean, do you think this uh, can be seller for 10, 15 years? Well, it, this is 2016, so it's already six years old. I think you can easily go for another five years. Yeah, I think it will grow in complexity and it, and it, will, be, it will become wiser. You, you, f you can feel this power and it, it was just getting wise and wise over time. So you only make Chard and Pinot at the Hilt? Yes. Okay, great. So I know I'm going to have you for a second uh, interview. Thank you so much for this. My Let pleasure. Let me uh, toast with you again and welcome Cheers. to Puerto Rico. Well, Amigos, vinos extraordinarios de Hilt. Los consiguen en el Orrio de Suárez. El Chardonnay y el Pinot Noir, ambos están en 69 dólares. Son vinos de enorme calidad, producidos con los más altos estándares y por una gente que sabe un poquito de esto. Tienen otras bodegas muy, muy reconocidas y de, mucha, de muy alta puntuación. Salud y será hasta la próxima. Nos vemos. Cheers.